Am I the asshole for replacing the expensive gourmet toffee with bulk toffee from Costco for my teenage son? When my son was in high school, I gave him a box of expensive gourmet Chapel Hill toffee for Christmas. Then he started asking me to put it on the grocery list. I told him it was a special treat, not a staple, and it wouldn't go on the list. And he argued with me. So, when I was at Costco, I found a huge jar of good toffee. Not as good as the small batch gourmet Chapel Hill toffee, but still good toffee. I bought it and stored it in my closet and filled up the Chapel Hill toffee box. I put the CHT box full of Costco toffee in the pantry. For about a month, he ate the Costco toffee. I continued to fill the fancy small box with toffee from the bulk container in my closet. Then I finally just put the now half full big Costco toffee container in the pantry and waited for him to notice. It took a few days. He was not amused. But was the toffee good? You certainly ate it and didn't complain about it. I think he was being a bit of an asshole to demand expect expensive toffee after he had been gifted it. So my actions were justified and amusing. I admit that I tricked him, but it was a harmless trick and he enjoyed the toffee. X200B. He's still kind of mad about the deception. My neighbor recently gifted us a box of Chapel Hill toffee. Which caused me to recall the incident from five years ago. I laughed about it, but he did not. Not the asshole. He's not entitled to brand toffee on demand. You bought him decent toffee. He should be happy. Certainly, as time goes on, he should be more understanding as to how household finances work. Not the asshole. There are special gifts and then there are everyday items. It's not a difficult concept to grasp. Especially for a teen. If he is still angry about this years later, it seems like maybe something else is going on. Perhaps he needs to see a counselor or therapist to help him work out his feelings. Info is this an ad for small batch gourmet Chapel Hill toffee? Not the asshole. I admit that I tricked him. But it was a harmless trick and he enjoyed the toffee. This. Harmless. Not the asshole. Oh. This is funny number. You're not the asshole. He may never get over the harmless deception. But I guarantee he'll understand a lot better when he's paying for his own food. My father used to mix cheap brandy and triple sec and put it into a Grand Marnier bottle. Ninety-five of those given a glass couldn't tell the difference. I could. And I asked him about it. Turns out he had a real bottle that he drank from himself. Since I could tell I got the good stuff. He didn't want to spend the dollar dollar on those who didn't appreciate it. Not the asshole. Info so what did you do when you found out your teenage son was a 65 year old grandpa? Not the asshole I used to insist on named brand cereal and washing powder. My mum bought one box of each. And refilled with generic versions. I didn't notice the difference. Just like your son. This writer's strike is hurting us all. I do not live in NC but I love Chapel Hill toffee and it most definitely is a special occasion it is a favorite gift I receive from my friends there. If he wants them he should buy them. As a toffee lover, I had to look that up it is pretty expensive. Though probably delicious. Not the asshole. He probably feels silly that he didn't know the difference. I think you're a lovely parent for providing toffee at all, even if it was bulk from Costco. Not the asshole. My first thought was being amused because it sounds like something I would do. He will get over it. 
Might even find a way to retaliate lol. I'm going against the grain here you're the asshole. Not for finding a economical way for him to enjoy toffee but because you decided that instead of treating him like a growing human with a growing brain who doesn't grasp the concept of expense and treats you lied to him for months. How are you going to teach lies and deception are wrong to a child and then turn around and lie to them for months and then act like that's okay and justified? You could have had a nice teachable moment and instead you showed your son he can't trust you. Not the asshole, but why not give him a choice? The expensive toffee or the same dollar worth of the cheap toffee? Then he can decide whether the fancy stuff is worth the money. Did Chapel Hill toffee write this? Not the asshole, you're a really nice mom just for buying him the Costco toffee. For real. He should appreciate that. I'm flabbergasted that you let him argue with you instead of just saying. I'll get it for you for spevial gifts since you like it so much. Unless you keep arguing with me. Esh simply because of the deception. Be up front and say this is your toffee from now on. No need to lie and embarrass others to get your point across. This reminds me of when my nephew who was six at the time would only eat Nutella and not the cheaper equivalent from Aldi. His reason being it tasted disgusting. So my brother his dad bought the cheaper alternative anyway and steamed off the Nutella label and put it on the Aldi jar. My nephew was super happy and kept saying see. It's way better than the cheap one tears of joy tears of joy my brother eventually came clean many months later and many happily eaten Aldi jars later and my nephew was very shocked. Tears of joy. Not the asshole but I wouldn't have bothered with putting it in the expensive toffee container I would have just said. This is the toffee I can afford regularly. Even this is a treat because there's nothing in here you need to eat to survive. You don't have to eat it if you don't want to. If you want the expensive stuff, give me dollar X to pay for it and I'll pick it up for you next time. Esh. Expensive toffee isn't an everyday thing. But why lie about it? He can spend all his money on toffee if he wants. But you'll include more affordable toffee in the list. You are never going to win someone over by tricking them and making them feel stupid. Not the asshole. It's expensive. It was purchased as a treat. Now is a great time for your son to learn how to make toffee on his own so he can engage with a new passion and cut the toffee budget. Maybe he'll find a career in culinary creations. Not the asshole. The toffee from Costco is pretty damn good. But not nearly as good as my dad's homemade English toffee drooling face. TBH. Your son sounds very entitled. Not the asshole. Your son needs some adversity in his life. YTA for being deceiving. Not the asshole. Why are you not saying no to your son? You understand the parents' role, right? Giving into their every whim is harmful to them. Not the asshole, harmless bit of fun. Not the asshole. He's a teenager. If it wasn't this, then it would just be something else that would be the worst thing in the history of the world to happen to someone. Tears of joy, tears of joy, tears of joy. That's awesome sounds like something I would do to my kid. NGLI initially read toffee as coffee in the title. Realized once I opened. The concept discussed actually makes sense either way though. Although I think PPL prob get more upset by switching out the coffee than some candy. Not the asshole my kids were mad when they caught me putting bulk cereal in the Fruit Loops box.